God, this is so peaceful and beautiful, honey. Yeah. You want to go over with mom, don't you? Yeah. Fine. Thank you. Now I'm wet. <laughs> Hello, we're Jim and B with Modern Canine Vlog, and we love adventuring with our dogs Apollo and Heidi. We all love playing on the water, so we recently decided to purchase some kayaks. Inflatable kayaks are super portable, and since we don't have a lot of storage room in our fifth wheel, they seem to be a good fit for us. There's a blue herring down there. I see a blue herring. In this video, we'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the K2 Explorer and the K2 Challenger based on our experiences with them. If you follow our channel, you know we're all about traveling with our dogs. So we purchased two person kayaks and take out the extra seat. This gives us more room for the dogs. Both of these kayaks are made by the same manufacturer, a company called Intex, and have pretty much the same accessories. Each of the kayaks comes with a high volume output manual pump, a carry bag, a removable skeg, two inflatable seats, and two 86 inch aluminum oars. At 11 feet 6 inches, the K2 Challenger is slightly longer than the K2 Explorer, which is 10 feet 3 inches. And the Challenger is also a bit heavier. It weighs 39.6 pounds versus the K2 Explorer at 37 pounds. Both the K2 Challenger and the K2 Explorer are rated for 400 pounds carrying weight. Both kayaks are made out of a heavy vinyl material and are best suited for lakes or mild rivers. The setup is quick and easy for both of the kayaks. The K2 Explorer has three air chambers and also two small covers that need to be inflated. While the K2 Challenger only has two air chambers, but it does come with an additional float pillow to raise up the bow. We purchased this portable electric air pump to make setup even easier. The K2 Explorer offers a wider, more open space and taller side chambers, which make the boat sit up out of the water a little bit more. The front and the back of the kayak are covered with splash guards that each have a sturdy carry handle. The K2 Challenger sits much lower in the water and its sporty design offers covered front and back compartments. We find these make great storage areas that keep our stuff out of the way. It also has a front cargo net. <laughs> he loves, look at the He's got his feet back. He's like splodging. Both Heidi and Apollo love sitting on the front of the Challenger. While both kayaks performed great in the water, we found that the K2 Challenger seemed to track better and was a little bit easier to maneuver with just one person than the K2 Explorer. But the raised bow of the K2 Explorer offers much better splash protection in choppy waters. She's having a good time. Yeah. Deflating is quick and easy for both kayaks, and there is no problem with fitting them back into their carry cases. Overall, we found that we prefer the K2 Challenger over the K2 Explorer. Mainly because it was easier for our smaller dog Heidi to get in and out, and it seemed that both dogs loved sitting in the front area.
We hope you enjoyed today's video. For information on product links, please check the description below. And for more great products, check out the playlist, Best Products for Traveling with Dogs. Until next time, keep your paws on the road. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, silly. Come on, silly. Come on, silly. Come on, silly boy. What are you so silly? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, army crawl. Trying to crawl out of the picture. Oh, now you mean. Oh, nice. Thank you. Good boy.